Hey everyone, welcome to episode three of Science Boom. Today I have John Herrera with me. Hi everyone. And I'm Mike Doig, and we are out here at lovely Floyd Bennett Field here in New York City. What we're going to be doing today is a, another density demonstration, but this time we're going to be looking at the density of gases. We're going to be using this helium balloon here. What we're going to do is we're going to take this helium balloon with us on a little ride in this car back here. And I want you to think for a second. If we put this balloon in between the two of us, as we begin to accelerate forward, what direction do you think this balloon is going to go? Think about that for a minute. Come up with an answer in your head. Okay, so we're placing the balloon right smack center between Mike and myself, and uh, we're making sure that the balloon has nothing, it's not touching anything. We don't want that to be uh, a problem in the experiment. Uh, we also rolled up all the windows, which is uh, kind of courageous because it's about 120 degrees in here. It's really hot. And the car kind of smells a little bit too. So we're going to turn the car on, the car's already on rather, and we're just going to uh, start accelerating and uh, we'll see what happens. As we start to speed up, the balloon moves forward while the uh, air from the front of the car moves to the back, creates a high pressure at the back and the high pressure pushes the balloon forward. Okay, so let's think about this and see if we can figure it out. Planet Earth is surrounded by air. We stand on the, on the ground. The ground is the bottom of an ocean of air. If I let go of a balloon, which is full of helium, that's lighter than air, the balloon will rise. In, in a car, the situation is a little bit different. The air is everywhere. When I accelerate the car, all of the air from the front of the car moves to the back of the car. The air produces a higher pressure and that higher pressure pushes our balloon forward. If I were to place my car in reverse, the opposite would occur. All of the air from the back would move towards the front of the car, creating a higher pressure at the front of the car, pushing the balloon back. Well, that's it for this edition. I hope you enjoyed the, uh, the experiment. It was pretty interesting to see how the balloon actually went to the front of the vehicle. Uh, it's a little demonstration of air pressure. Uh, Till next time, I'm Mike Doig. I'm John Herrera. Thanks for watching.